Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to follow up with the question that we received during the course and see how we can import a BIM file on Pathfinder and try to figure it out the automatic way to convert the, the floor of this project inside the Pathfinder to generate the evacuation area in which we can locate our agents. So here in uh, in the screen, you can see that I open uh, one of the default project of uh, Revit, and we are gonna pass in the 3D view of this house. And uh, the first step, if you have a BIM file that you have received by your colleagues, uh, is to export it in an EFC file. Do so, you need to go to File, Export, and select EFC. In my case, I'm gonna locate it in a folder in my desktop. That's great. A folder. Yeah, I'm to pack finder. And I'm gonna just leave the default name. You will see that Revit is gonna take a bit of some time to export the file and slowly it's gonna convert everything in our famous EFC file. I'm gonna stop the recording here. Actually, no, let's wait. Probably it's gonna take just less than one minute. And you see, yeah, he has been already completed. And uh, If we go in our folder, we will find the EFC file. And as you might remember, this file can be opened in a text file and it will look like something like this. So this is saved on our folder. Now we are gonna go and open Pathfinder and you will see that in file, you have the possibility to import an EFC file. So let's go in the folder that we just created is called BAM to Pathfinder, and this is our file. Let's try to import it. For the sake of this uh, exercise, I'm gonna just leave the default measurements. I already checked that it's gonna give us a reasonable model. And you will see that the model is now inside our file. It doesn't look really pretty if you wanna see it with the original text texture or just a solid, you need to change the setup. You can see here on the top left, let's see how it will look like if we just use texture. There it is. You can see with the texture of our model is looking like. So the next step, you can see that all the hierarchy of your model is right here and you will find all the BIM object that we have been inserted in introducing in this uh, uh, version of Pathfinder, this file. And you will see that if you start selecting some element, it has been already classified elements that can be defined as a floor on, or like you will see that walls, for instance, have been transformed in obstruction, stairs have been transformed in stairs element, and what we need to do now is to check that all the floor surface that we want to have agents on are still working as a floor. You can see that, for instance, in this element uh, is probably identified in a wrong way because it wasn't set up in the original BAM file as a floor. So if we want, for instance, to change, we go here and now it's going to start looking like a floor. So the next step, if you want to convert it in uh, identify a flow and create all the navigation map for all your channel agents, you need to select the original model and generate model from BIM. In uh, this exercise, I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to simply generate and you will see that it's going to take a few seconds.
it's almost there. So you can see that there are a lot of uh, different colors here because the map has been generate, generated. And if you wanna just see the evacuation map in the model, you can uh, select and deactivate the texture and it's gonna start looking like something like that. So another thing is that we need, we can check if the model is uh, uh, working fine and all the rooms in uh, generated here are connected with each other. There is a trick to do it. Uh, let's assume that we are gonna put an evacuation exit right here at the end of the property, and we want to check if uh, this room has been connected with all the remaining parts of the model. So you can uh, select it, the room, and It's not showing what it was supposed to show. Let me go in the texture mode and try to select this evacuation. Yeah, now it's working with the texture and I'm gonna have to select all the connected components. That means that we are gonna check all the component, all the other rooms that are connected. And so if there is an agent in any other of those connected room, he will be capable to reach this final space. And uh, I'm gonna, put the entire graph because I want to see in the full model. And you'll see that there are some elements that are not connected yet. So that means that if we are gonna put some agent in here, it's not gonna be capable to enter in the room. So we need to create a connection in here and also a connection between this other space here. If you are required to put agents in this space. And you can see that instead here, there is a nice navigation map that has been created all around the table and obstacle in the kitchen. And for instance, if we want to fix the issues in this area, it seems that this area is not connected. Let's try to have a look, and this is might be a link to the fact that the original BAM file wasn't designed in the right way. And so the conversion has been uh, uh, done in a way that doesn't really align with the Pathfinder expectation because there was an original uh, error if we want to call it in the original file. So let's go back and see what happened here. You can see that there are some element here that has been designed as a floor that doesn't really make sense in here. So we might need to check and deactivate some of those elements or delete them our floor that have been connected like in the wrong way. So what I'm gonna do is to remove this object and check if there is another object. And probably what I'm gonna try to do is to recreate those stairs and connect, let's go from the top view, reconnect these two floors. So let's put simple stair from here to here. And of course, then you have the possibility to modify the size of those stairs and uh, customize uh, as you wish. And uh, actually it's gonna be connected with this part of the floor. Now it looks much better. And you will always have the possibility to modify this and make it wider and align, let's try to put it, for instance, three meters for this exercise. And it's roughly giving us a good representation of their stairs in the BAM. But of course, you can always read the submission and put it there. So let's try to recheck if now this part of the BAM conversion is aligned, it's uh, connected. And you can see, palm is working now. Also, people that we will put evacuate, we will put in this area can be now capable to reach the final part of the of the property and evacuate. So what we can do now is just to test that the model is working fine. And what I'm gonna do is just to add a simple exit from the area in here and start locating a few people 
in this area, in our kitchen. And let's put some other people in the kitchen was downstairs. So let's put some in the kitchen and here. Let's try to put single agent just to, to figure it out if it's still working. And let's try to run the model and see if the agents are capable to evacuate or if they get stuck in any object, one obstacle in the simulation. So it seems that the simulation has been run correctly. And now you can see that here we have a nice representation of the model. Probably you won't be capable to see all the evacuate. And uh, you can go here and check and put it back to wireframe if you want to actually see them moving in the in the space. And if we play the simulation, you will be capable to see they are capable to move in the space and reach the final exit. I'm going to go back in the realistic view and see what happened. Our agents that are now accessing the room out. So this is a simple example for the default model. And of course, this tool can be applied for any kind of uh, uh, BIM modeling EFC file that you will receive in, our, in your project. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, don't forget to contact me. Thank you so much.